good day students in the previous video you've learned about determining the standard equation and graph of a parabola now let's proceed to determining general equation and graph of a parabola Example number 1 with given x squared is equal to 12y. As you can see, this given example lies under the first case of parabola in the summary table. And if you're going to observe, it will give us an opening going upwards because it has a positive focal distance. Next is vertex. So in summary table number 1, vertex is at hk. Since the given has no value for hk, it is automatically at the origin, so the vertex is at point zero, zero. Next is the focal distance. From the given standard formula, 4p is equal to 12. Simplifying it using multiplication property of equality, we'll have a value of focal distance p is equal to 3. Next is the focus. From the summary table number 1, in order to find the focus, we're going to substitute the focal distance to point 0p, so we'll have a focus which is at point 0,3. Next, from the summary table number 1, directrix is y is equal to negative p. Just simply substitute the focal distance and we'll have the directrix at y is equal to negative 3. After that is the axis of symmetry. So from the summary table number 1, axis of symmetry is at y-axis since x is equal to 0. Then the latus rectum. In order to find the endpoints of the latus rectum, we're going to use the following from the summary table number 1. For LR sub 1, we're going to use 2P, comma P, and then substitute the focal distance. P will have 2 multiplied by 3, comma 3, simplify, and we're going to have the LR sub 1 at 6, comma 3. Next is for LR2 or LR sub 2, which is the second endpoint of latus rectum, which is at negative 2P, comma, P. And then substitute the focal distance. We'll have negative 2 multiplied by 3, comma, 3. And then simplify, we're going to have LR sub 2 at negative 6, comma, 3. Next is to get the general form. So, X squared is equal to 12Y, Simply use addition property to 12y and we'll have the general form of x squared minus 12y is equal to 0. Last is the graph. So first, we're going to plot the vertex which is at the origin. And then after that, the focus which is at 0, 3. And then the endpoints of latus rectum, which is at L sub L R sub one, at point six three. Then L R sub two is at negative six comma three. Then just connect the points to form the parabola. Next is the directrix, which is at y is equal to negative 3 and then the axis of symmetry which is at the y-axis since x is equal to 0 and that is the graph of x squared is equal to 12y example number 2 with given quantity x minus 2 squared is equal to negative 4 times y minus 3 this example lies under the third case of parabola in the summary table. Observing the given, it will give us an opening going downward since it has a negative focal distance. Next is the vertex. From the summary table, number 3, vertex is at hk. So substitute the value of h and k from the given, we'll have a vertex at point 2 
comma 3. Next is the focal distance. From the given standard formula, 4p is equal to negative 4. Simplifying it using multiplication property of equality will have a value of focal distance p is equal to negative 1. Next is the focus which is at h, k plus p. From the summary table number 3. What we're going to do is just substitute the focal distance p and hk. So we'll have 2, 3 plus negative 1. Simplify, we'll have a focus at point 2, 2. From the summary table, number 3, directrix is y is equal to k minus p. Substitute the focal distance and k will have the directrix at y is equal to 4. Next is the axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry is x is equal to h. Substitute h will have x is equal to 2 and that is our axis of symmetry. After that, the lattice rectum. To get its endpoints, we're going to use the following. For LR sub 1, we're going to use h plus 2p comma k plus p. Substitute p, h, and k will have 2 plus 2 times negative 1 comma 3 plus negative 1. Simplify, we'll have 2 minus 2 comma 3 minus 1. And the lactose rectum 1 or LR1 is at 0 comma 2. Next is for LR sub 2 which is at h minus 2p comma k plus p. So substitute p, h, and k will have 2 minus 2 times negative 1 comma 3 plus negative 1. Simplify, we'll have 2 plus 2 comma 3 minus 1. So we'll have LR sub 2 at point 4 comma 2. Next, to get the general form from the standard form, quantity x minus 2 squared is equal to negative 4 times y minus 3. We're going to expand the quantity x minus 2 squared, so we'll have quantity x minus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to negative 4 times y minus 3. So using FOIL method on the left side and distributative property on the right side, we'll have x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to negative 4y plus 12. And then using addition property of equality to negative 4y, we'll have x squared minus 4x plus 4y plus 4 is equal to 12. Again, using addition property of equality to 12, we'll have x squared minus 4x plus 4y plus 4 minus 12 is equal to 0. And then simplify, we'll have the general form of x squared minus 4x plus 4y minus 8 is equal to 0. Last is the graph. First, we're going to plot the vertex which is at 2, comma. 3. After that, the focus, which is at point 2, comma, 2. And then the lattice rectum endpoints, LR sub 1 at 0, comma, 2, and LR sub 2, which is at 4, comma, 2. Then connect the points to form the parabola. Next is the directrix at y is equal to 4. And axis of symmetry which is at x is equal to 2. And that is the graph of quantity x minus 2 squared is equal to negative 4 times y minus 3. Thank you for watching!